Morning YouTube. Look, you're in a different angle. I got you sitting on my workbench. And the camera's backwards. Transformer? No. The mobile charger. I know it's backwards. <laughs> and I'm trying this angle for once. Let's see how that works. I need a green, a greeny, a greeny. There we go. A green Robertson. And I had one commenter wishing that uh, they would have seen me take that Tolroyd apart. Well, I didn't think you'd be interested in watching me. All I did was unwind it. Look at that. That's all that's in here. <laughs> that ain't much. Oh, that's what's holding you in place. You just bent a little. <clears throat> that one. That's it. Wasn't welded or anything. See if it'll drop. Will it drop? Yes. I will. I rebent it a bit right there. Why it ain't coming out? There we go. There we go. Heavy old boy. Not much, not much at all. Oop, that flew right out. These things, I have never figured out how to take them apart. So I just cut them off. You lose what? A quarter of an inch of copper. Put it in the shred bucket. You know? empty that's all that was in it I don't even know what that is do you know what that is <clears throat> shred I'm not going to spend a half an hour tearing it apart to find out it's not worth anything. And see if I don't tear it apart, it's probably worth something. We got this bad boy. He is copper by the looks of it. Shred. Yeah, it looks like copper in there. And peel one of the papers open. It's very old. Very old. Looks like it's been cooked quite a bit too. 
and get somebody on my rooftop. You can hear the pitter patter of little feet. It's the disadvantage of a steel roof, you hear everything. See, that's copper. Where's your camera? There it is. So, we shall. Yes, I still use the old guy. I don't know how well you're going to see anything right here. Oh, wow, you have to be right on top of it. <laughs> I'll be back. Okay. I got you in a different tripod, so. Yeah, I'm still using the busted knife. It still does a pretty good job. Actually, I'm going to try the other part of it. It still has a handle attached. <laughs> it's going to be a little awkward. Broken, but it still works. Just like me. Broken, but I still work. I just got to pop those out. Going to be moving you around. Hope you're not scared of heights. <laughs> Yeah, put them in the bench vice and pop them out. And have it a little tight. There we go. Still a little tight, I think. Yep. There, see? It's completely out. That stuff went in the shred. Around here, they don't take it for uh, heavy steel. It's just shred because it's just plates. Little bits of plates. That's all. See, that's all this stuff is. See, that one fell completely apart. So yeah, it can't go for uh, heavy steel here anyways. I'm surprised anybody takes it for heavy steel. You know, I really am. Surprised anybody takes it for heavy steel. Well, these are in layers. It's like onions, in layers. Yeah, there it is.
would have been easier to cook this. It's already half cooked. You know? Try to get the paper off of it because I want it fairly clean. Scrapyards don't like it if you leave a lot of garbage on them. And you put it in the number two bucket. So. They want it fairly clean, you know. Like this is just, yeah. Look at that mess. Would have been easier just to throw it in the insulated wire bucket. Yeah, that one's fine. <clears throat> That's the mess I got to deal with. If we're going to keep it, you know. Most of it will come clean. I'm just going to try and keep all the paper crap out. But anyways, you get the gist of it, right? I throw it in the uh, hydro, or the number two wire bucket. Oh, I'm stepping on your foot. Did it hurt? See Marvin, this stuff is. Sometimes, because it's old and coppery, doesn't mean it's worthwhile. And then I got to sort through all this paper, and then do the same with this section. So. You got it. I idea. So anyways, what was that thingy? Mobile charger. So there you have it. It's today, Thursday. And it's doomy and gloomy out. It's chilly. Have a nice day. <laughs>